These are the things that you stumble upon when you just take random roads on accident. Last night as I left western New Mexico, I had a destination in mind and as I was cruising south on the highway, I saw another road that headed off to the west. It looked more interesting than the spot where I was going, so I decided to take a chance and go west and drop down into Arizona. You never know what you're gonna get yourself into, but 99.999 times out of 100, it always pays off with some interesting reward. I've been following your YouTube page for a long time, man. Yeah, dude, it's crazy to see you. Welcome to Arizona. <laughs> I'm here in Clifton, Arizona, which is not far from the New Mexico border, and it's up here in the cool desert hills. Because of the rain happening this year, it's beautiful, it's green, which is a cool contrast to the red rocks that are naturally in this area. Clifton is this cool little mining town. It's old school. It's like being in the Wild West. These are the back roads of the American West. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the adventure. Let's go see what US Route 191 has to offer. So part of what keeps Clifton even on the map to this day is a mine that is known as the Marinci Mine. Now this mine is humongous and the highway goes right through it. So we're gonna get a first hand up close and personal look at what this mine is all about. Next stop, Marinci Mine. crap this is insanity what humans are capable of literally moving mountains let's go see if we can get a better view this is freaking cool welcome to the mighty Marinci mines this is the largest copper mine in North America There's literally no way to put into words the enormity of how big this place is. These dump trucks are huge and you don't really realize the scale of it until you're able to see the little human driving inside there and then that puts into proportion how big these things are. When you see them driving around to the mine, they look microscopic, but when you realize how big those trucks are, once they make their way up to within eye shot, then you realize how big this hole in the earth is right here below me. Copper was first discovered here in the Marinci Mining District back in 1873. In 1937 is when they started the open pit mining operations that we see going on here today. Between 1937 and 2019, this pit here behind me has produced 39.1 billion pounds of copper. This whole mining operation spans over 68,400 acres, about 80 square miles, 
and it employs 3,600 employees. Unfortunately, it's a major scar on the landscape here in Eastern Arizona, but it's a vital part of our daily lives as we know it. Now, if we think about it, copper is an important part of our daily lives from our electronics, our cameras, our computers, our phones, the wiring in our housing, in our cars, etc. Now this right here behind me is actually one of the beds off of these very dump trucks that we see swirling around down into the bottom of the pits and climbing high on top of these mountains. I'm gonna crawl inside it. You guys can get a perspective of just how big the beds of these trucks are and how much material they must be hauling if it's heaping almost overflowing with material. Literally moving mountains. Now right here behind me is one of the tires off of these Caterpillar 793 haul trucks. And to put into perspective just how big this thing is, I'm gonna go over here and stand next to it. Now I'm right about six foot and you're gonna see how tall this thing is compared to me. This is the 16 valve diesel motor that powers these dump trucks alone, just the motor, 16,500 pounds. To put into perspective, my whole entire Sprinter van weighs in at just about 10,000 pounds. 60 gallons of oil, that's a 50 gallon drum plus 10 more gallons just to lubricate this thing. And it also takes 150 gallons of coolant to cool this thing down as it's operating. Puts out 2,000 horsepower up and down these steep hills in and out of these mines. Pretty incredible. There is more to offer here on Highway 191 as we head north into the Devil's Highway, also known as Route 666. So let's jump in the van, go see what the Devil's Highway has to offer ahead. Well, I just was cruising down the highway, saw a pretty cool camp spot, thought I'd come out here to check it out, decided I'd put up a time lapse, and within seconds, the sunshine disappeared, this rain cloud appeared just off to the south of me, and now it is a literal downpour. The cool thing is there is a little bit of local lightning and thunder happening close by, but we're just gonna have to sit this one out. We're in the middle of it now. There's lightning coming down. Oh, oh my God, that scared the shit. That was instantaneously right there. Wow. <laughs> oh my God, the energy in that is just insane. Oh, we asked for it, we're getting it now. Hell yeah. Freaking awesome right here.
And just like that, the chaos is over. That's freaking cool. That's something that everybody I feel like needs to experience at some point in their life. <laughs> just being in the middle of a thunderstorm, especially with how quickly it comes on like that. Got a really cool storm rolling in across the valley over here. It's coming down pretty darn cool. So right here I've got one camera that's facing out across the valley at that storm. It's taking a photo every five seconds as that storm moves across there. It's going to capture 480 images over the next 40 minutes and that should give us about a 20 second time lapse when we play it back at 23.98 frames per second. And that is the fun of time lapse. You can capture stuff like these storms that are moving across the valleys out here in eastern Arizona. This is exactly the best way to spend some van life out here in eastern Arizona. Storm watching. This has been absolutely incredible. It's what you get when you take a chance on a road, on an opportunity. You don't always know when they're gonna work out, but sometimes you gotta take that leap of faith. And right now, Mother Nature is unleashing all of its glory. Incredible. The calm after the storm. Just a matter of hours after those intense storms came rolling through here. What an exhilarating experience it is to be in the middle of these thunderstorms out here in Arizona. It's a cool opportunity as a photographer, as a filmmaker, to capture the fury as Mother Nature unleashes it down upon us here on Earth. Nonetheless, got a lot of miles yet to put down here on Highway 191 as I head north. I'm sure there's a lot more adventure to be had, so I'm going to jump to it and start putting down some miles. Come the morning, 
I'll be gone Say hi to the camera, huh? Look, look right here, look in the camera. Can you say hi to everybody? Shiprock, New Mexico. Such an interesting rock formation that just comes up out of nowhere out here in the desert of northwestern New Mexico. Matter of fact, it's out here on the Navajo Reservation. And there's quite the legendary story behind this rock formation. You guys should definitely read up on it. I'm gonna have to move quickly because the light is fading fast. I've been distracted by this little fellow that I just found roaming out here in the desert alone. Come here, pup. Come say hi. Look at this little fella. Somehow, these dogs have a way of finding me in my travels. This guy appears to be abandoned out here. There's nobody out here for miles and miles, and it was just roaming around at the entrance into Shiprock. Let's see if it wants to hang out for the evening, see if we can't figure out what's going on with this guy. Super cute pup. It's definitely young. It's definitely pretty skinny. It could probably use some water. It could probably use some food. And it looks like a little bit of company. Hump up. Okay, light is fading fast. Let's jump to shooting some shots of this thing, get this thing documented. This is a very cool spot, and I'm so stoked to finally be here after so many years.
Okay, pup, that's a wrap. You ready to hit the road? Do you know what that means to hit the road? Huh? Do you know? It's where we go get in that van over there. Yeah, we gotta go get in the van. All right, let's go.